Hello everyone, Kratax here. Welcome back to our Pyanodons playthrough. In this episode, we're hopefully going to be working towards circuits, but I've taken a little bit of a detour and I'm starting work on our acetylene setup because the problem was that we weren't using our crushed coal. And so I wanted to see if I could fit a setup where we actually use all of the crushed coal and I've kind of been remodeling, trying to see if I can fit everything in where we, you know, turn the crushed coal into coarse coal and coal and turn that into more coal and then turn all that into coke. So we end up A, not outputting crushed coal that we need to get rid of and B, having a better raw coal efficiency. And I'm just now realizing I might not need, you know, I should probably have a chain for this. I might not actually need that. Um, second secondary crusher now because if i have two so my goal is two gasifiers running at full speed so i think no it's not 15 what is it 12 12.5 yeah so then we want 25 acetylene and that would require two of those half 0.25 soils three of those, but then this is the difference. We actually might not need this much. Okay, so we've got crushed coal. Okay. And then I should just be able to do matrix solver for this. And it will work. Perfect. Okay, so I do need I do need the two original secondary crushers. So that's good that I didn't screw that up because <laughs> I had two originally, so I kind of didn't even think to check. But now I'm trying to figure out, okay, so I've set up, you know, the secondary crushers are in the same place. I moved this over so I could have this extra vertical square because I actually need all of that to fit in three Coke makers. And then the crushed coal is going directly into that processor. I'm only using half a belt, so I can use the other half of the belt for the real coal. And then the coarse coal goes on this far side of the belt, and then the crushed coal will put on that side of the belt afterwards. So that's kind of a pseudo priority deal where, you know, if there's already coal on this belt from the coarse coal, it won't put on from the secondary or the crushed coal. So that's kind of a, another way to do priority is you just have the higher priority thing put on the belt first. And then the coal dust is going out the side where it was before. We've still got the coke oven gas. I had to switch the acetylene and slaked lime because I want to push these all the way over to the right. And so it actually there's no way, because the acetylene output is right here, there's no way to have the lime output here. So I had to kind of switch some of the undergrounds to fix that, but it's all still the same setup overall on the outside. So now I'm just trying to figure out how I can get the lime from these two limestone makers. So maybe something like that. We will need water, though, to come in. Wait. Maybe I can do there. I can move this inserter somewhere else. And then the coke will have to come up. And then we'll need two of these making... What is this? Calcium carbide? From the lime. So that should work fine. So the coke can come... Okay, we actually, I think, we can make this happen. The only thing I don't have is the pump jack. Hmm. We will have to fit that in somewhere. Maybe I can put it up in this corner. Make that work. I don't know. You know, I guess I can move this whole setup one to the left. I think that actually will solve some of these problems.
And we can move all this to the left by one unit. There we go. Gotta make the most of our space. I thought about finishing this completely um, off screen, but I know some of you enjoy kind of seeing how tightly we can pack these factory Zemo buildings. So I figured you guys might want to be around for a part of this. Um, okay, so we'll have the coal input, coal input, and coal input. And then that will only be on the right side of the belt. So we need to output onto the left side of the belt there. I'll put you onto the left side of the belt, and the left side of the belt in this case is the near side of the belt. And then our coke can come up and over, and we'll have access to both buildings. Need a little gas vent for that extra carbon dioxide. One point five, eight seven five. Hmm. I think I'd rather have a little bit extra there. And then the coke will need to go into this building. How am I going to make that happen? I guess like this, actually. And we need 0.875 coke, which a sideways inserter should be more than enough for. And then those are all set with lime and coke. That's set with limestone and coke. The outputs are good. Ah, the water. At least I haven't figured out the water. So here, this thing makes it hard to see. So I think I'll do something. Yeah, that's interesting. That actually won't work. I'll need the inserter here. And then, yeah, the far side of the belt, I think is correct. We'll have to change this gas vent location. And now I just need to get water to there, which I'm sure is possible. Yeah, because we can just route it up here. This is a total mess for sure, but it's, it's a fun mess. Okay, so then the water can go right here. And you know what, I guess I can just hook that up directly, like here. And then we'll connect this water. And these output 1.25, so I'll need fast inserters. And I think that's actually it. I think we've done it. We just need to fix the raw coal input. But wow, oh no, hold on. Okay, yes, I did have the limestone output. So let's see what happens when we start this all up. I'm quite impressed. We used a lot of that space. So we just need to move this over one square and that should be golden. And this way, these two will actually be running 100% of the time and I will only have coal dust and coke oven gas as an output. I also, the reason I even started on this whole chain is I realized this coke oven gas I wasn't using enough hot air. And so because of that, I wasn't having enough of the colder coke oven gas to to vent, which means the hot coke oven gas was actually uh, backed up. And so I wasn't able to make as much acetylene as I even normally could because the coke oven gas didn't have anywhere to go. So I did just add a vent on the hot coke oven gas as well because Apparently, we need to add a vent on basically everything that gets produced. Um, but yeah, okay, so we've got our crushers running. Looks like all of these other crushers are working properly to get coal output. And then that's being used to make coke, which is going on the other side of the belt. Which means we won't have any issues with backing up on coal, which it will back up soon here. And it looks like this guy is making lime to provide our calcium carbide. 
and both of these are running. So, sweet. So I will not cut, but copy that. I'll actually, you know what, we have this saved somewhere in our blueprint book. Small factory, raw coal to acetylene. You know, I will leave that. Um, I will name it, oh, it is, okay, red science, yeah. So I'll leave that, and I'll make this a new one that is called raw coal to acetylene green science. Because we need green science for it. And then I'll go fix the other one to be the same. So we'll unhook the outputs real quick. And then we will just erase everything. Paste this design in, which is a good feeling. Craft a few dozen more nanobots, because I'll probably need them. Try to help out with my picker mod. Looks like I need a couple gasifiers and furnaces. Actually, I shouldn't need the gasifiers, because they were already in here. It's just taken my bots a hot second to do all this work. Now that I have green science, I should probably do the nanobot upgrades. Make them faster. We'll help out where we can. Looks like we're most of the way there. Okay, this is all set up. We need one more screener, it looks like. And let me fix the rock hole. Input is one square over. And that should do it. So now this whole setup will use a lot less rock hole, which is kind of important. Though I did end up, I think I mentioned this, I have a basically infinite rock hole now that I've tapped that other input. That's 3.4 million, so that's not going to run out anytime soon. But now we're not using a whole lot, and it looks like we had an issue here in the first place with crushed coal. So I think what I'm going to start doing, I need to figure out a little design here. Because I want to use all this raw coal. So I'm going to stack the coal. And actively provide it. And then I'm going to request it. And I have so much extra raw coal that I need to get rid of. Let's throw it into these buildings. And I have a single coarse coal. Okay, these are backed up. I did something wrong then. What hath happened? Something with our undergrounds here went wrong. There we go. Hmm. I wonder if that was me doing the picker mod where it kind of paints over and somehow that messed it up. And now acetylene is coming here. Oops. That, that's the slaked lime, but now that's on the left, so this pipe needs to connect here, and then the acetylene goes sideways. Okay, and that looks better. Now it looks like everything is running. Um, but yeah, so I want to be providing stacks of crushed coal and using them in my coke areas because I don't think there's any use for crushed coal other than this so we'll check yeah I mean obviously we can use it just as straight up fuel um, it's only slightly better than coke though so I'd rather not and then this I want to stack as well and then actively provide that so, we'll 
we'll uh, do that a little bit at a time, I guess. And then I want to be requesting the crushed coal right here. Put that into an unstacker. That needs to go, yeah, into the top right. And then we'll have it just go into this shed. Because we're going to have crushed coal for quite a while. Crushed coal, stack of eight. We'll just say a hundred. And then that belt will come here and just dump into that. Perfect. And all that coal is going to be made into coke, which it looks like we are backed up, actually. What are we backed up on? What's happened here? Coke oven gas? Again? I thought I... Oh, that's funny. I literally didn't even attach... Wow, you guys must have caught that, I'm sure. Um, I didn't even attach the coke oven gas output when I did this, like, a few episodes ago. So that's kind of important, and we are going to fix that. So this needs to be an input pipe. So maybe we won't be getting to circuits this episode. This is maybe a little bit of a cleanup episode. Um, so where do I attach coke oven gas to? I think I have, oop, did not mean to walk in there. Yeah, this this pipe right here is attached to the coke oven world. So that should do it. Wow. Well, that kind of takes care of that issue. I wonder what I've messed up since I ran completely out of coke. Okay, yeah, so we're providing half of it, and then we're storing half of it, I guess. And then all this crushed coal, we can do steam treatment. I'll ferry a little bit of it in. What don't I need in my inventory? It's all this limestone. Probably should have put that in a chest, but I'll let my bots do the work. And we are not actually going to be able to fit all this in. This is crazy. We have so much raw coal. This screener is basically going to be running forever. Just want to make sure. Yeah, so the screener is... It's coal is getting used first, so that's good. But it's not making so much coal that none of the raw coal is getting used. Okay, well, we've fixed all those things. Let's go check on our acetylene stuff. Make sure it's still running properly. This one... Man, there's so much raw coal. Holy cow. You know what I think I need is actually, I almost need to just put another warehouse up here. Um, I'm gonna craft some circuits. I need some more bots. So this seems to be working properly. I probably should have put two screeners. I don't know if they would have fit. I don't think they would have. I guess if I had put this down lower to the right, then I could have fit two in here.
There was a little coal backed up there. I do want to make sure... I'm going to put a fast inserter here. I want to make sure the coarse coal gets used as much as possible from there. But, yeah, okay, I think that's all running properly now. And then, yeah, there's just so much built up stuff here that we're going to get rid of it all, it feels like. So I probably should at least change these to storage, if nothing else, because that's not going to hurt anything. But, yeah, 50,000 crushed coal. <laughs> that's what you get for trying to process a ton of coke at the red science tier. Okay, so look at all this titanium flowing in now that we upgraded our acetylene. We're actually building up acetylene, which is great, and I think that means I can actually add a couple more coal, or I mean lead miners, here. And so that will help with our lead shortage as well, which is the main thing I was kind of trying to deal with. It's because we were just so low on bio samples and cages so I wanted to I wanted to fix that I think we'll be doing a little bit better now okay let's give our bots some circuits Looks like they're working overtime trying to get all these wires to me. But I want to check on titanium here. Oh, look at that. The pickup number is smaller than the amount stored. That means we actually have provided more than we need for once. So that's a good feeling. And it looks like it's backed up on this row, so that's all good. So I think we actually finally will be backing up titanium. It might take an hour, but we will get there. And then lead. I mean, we're still short on lead, but it's coming in at a higher rate now, so that should help with our Cages here and solder. Yeah, I shouldn't have dumped. You know what? I'm gonna fix that. I don't have enough bots to dump 3,000 limestone into storage for no reason. So I'm just gonna take that, take that out, so they don't have to do it myself. Should have known better. Wait, oh, I do... <laughs> I do need 500 limestone, though. That's actually a building material. Honestly, I don't think I need any coal. I'm just going to get rid of all that. There we go. Okay. So we've done some good things. We've made sure that we're not backing up on coke oven gas. We've addressed... Mostly, we still need to deal with this full dust, I guess. Let's do that. Um, so we need this to be a stacker. And actively provide. Get rid of these shoots. So that should do it for that. So that will now never back up. I think every output has an overflow. Same here. So now this guy. It looks like we're just not requesting enough. I can't totally tell. Yeah. We just need to request more. 
Because they're just the bots are having to carry it too far. So we'll fix that. And that should help with bio samples. I am gonna put a limit on those. Those stack to 100, so we'll do a thousand bio samples. Um, otherwise, that's just loads of titanium that I will never get back. Okay. This all feels good. We'll have to redo ceramic at some point, too, because this is... Ah. Yes. Let's see. What's happening here? Oh, right. I'm using the coal dust and the crushed coal to power the steam boiler to make the clay that we need. So that actually ends up working out fine. I'm not accumulating. I don't even need this. Uh, I'm not accumulating coal dust and crushed coal. So that's good. Just kind of doing a quick once over of the base. All my glass. It looks like we've run out of hot air. That's because we've run out of bricks because we need a requester chest for bricks. Or honestly, why don't I just bring hot air in from the main Hot air world. I have to go around all this, which is a bit messy. But let's try it. Because we're wasting a lot of coke oven gas anyway. Might as well be making hot air with it. Okay. Pick these up. Go here. And then we need... So I'm going to do an overflow. So first we'll provide hot air to the all the different smelting, and then it will go in this direction if we have enough. And we can use this line. Eventually that will be in the way of my lead collection, but we're not going to be needing that much lead for quite a while. Okay, so that's connected and it is getting all the way here. Sweet. So that's all running again. Can I double check our latex? Yeah, so this here looks like only exists to make coal. So I could, I could do a couple things. I could remake all this, or I could just provide, over here we've got regular coal. I need some lights around the base. I always forget about that because of the Afraid of the Dark mod. It makes it a lot brighter around us, so we don't really notice. Um, I could just provide coal. I mean, how much does this use at the most? Half per second? That's not very much. So we could just provide coal that way. Um, I could change this to be crushing and all that jazz. I would need some form of liquid fuel to power all my glass works. Right now I'm still using Syngas. And then this is also... Actually, I have to make coal gas for aluminum, which is kind of interesting. So, I don't know. I don't really feel like changing all of this right now, but I will at some point. But yeah, so I think that's a good... Um, let's see. I think that's a good cleanup. I don't have any other big things that I can remember right now. This stone is taken care of. I'm actually providing some of it now. If we have too much, it turns into saline water and goes away, so I don't have to worry about that. And it looks like we've actually, we've run out. 
of because I guess I'm not using a ton of iron and copper. And I think that yeah, that means we've actually run out of sand casting. So I'm gonna do a little funky thing here where I make an infinite loop, which at some point I won't want, but That way we can use the stone that we've stored up as well. But I think once it backs up, this whole thing will just cycle forever. But until UPS becomes a problem, I shouldn't care. Okay, so I think all our metals are doing fine. Let's see how our lead is. It's still not backed up, but let's see if it's at least backed up up here. No, it's actually not. We are we are using it all for solder still. But I assume once we do improve lead and improve solder, we'll be okay. And then I probably should also make a mall. Yeah, I already have that on the list for inserters and other things. So, okay. Well, I think we're pretty close to being ready uh, for circuits one. And I'll put it on the list. Kick out. Move that to the top. We'll add 10 more bots into the system. Um, so for kick out, we need... Where is it? Down here? Palm tree DNA sample, a kick out codex, which I can probably just make now. 3C DNA, 5 bio sample, and 4 poor alien sample. Okay. Look at all our moon drops. All figured out. Pick some up. Um, so we need the palm tree DNA. And how many did I need? Just one. I should also double check on these recipes. Because again, I might need to make more than one. Okay, so if I have two kickouts, I can make five seeds. And five seeds can make 20 again. But I do need two to start. So I'll need a total of four of the codexes. That one requires me to make wire. Don't want to do that. I would really love if these bots went a little faster, but I shouldn't be complaining. I have bots, and that's the nice thing. Um, okay, so we need one more of these once they bring me some more wire. And then I need home tree DNA, which is just, again, automation and steel chests. We can do that. And the C DNA, which means we need some bio samples and eight or alien samples. So I'm actually going to need to let those build up for a second. Oh, interesting. We finally have enough biosample, and now we're short on ground samples. What's going on with that? Oh, the ash. That's right. It finally ran out. Okay, well, we can fix this. So we will insert ash from there and insert stacked ash here. Ash stack of eight. Okay, I kind of forgot about that one, so that will be running again soon. And then we need to grab some bio samples. Gosh, these poor bots. Should probably let them find me. But I've got things to do, you know? Alright, bio sample. You know, I'm just going to do this where 
I keep a few on this belt for when I need to grab a few. I think I'm dumb. I just realized this inserter is actually, I think, the problem. On why this these both weren't running. Because these both only require... Wait. Oh, wait, that's outputs. Well, that should match. Yeah, This. so if this is 0.5, these should only need 0.4. So I think the inserter was the problem. I was out of titanium, too. That that was part of the problem, but the inserter was a problem, too. All right, let's speed this up a little bit. So I think we need, we decided we need five biosample per cDNA, right? Yep. And then I'll probably need some substrate, actually. I'm going to grab that right now. Just take what's on this belt. Um, okay, and then where was I? Biosamples, right here. So I think we'll need 40 biosample. And I think I still have some extra from the previous moon drop creation cycle. Yeah, I've got a couple in here. Oh, that's actually already requested everything. Interesting. Okay. So I didn't even need to grab all this. Palm tree DNA. Give it one more of that. One more chest. And then we'll probably need, yeah, we'll make it here. This will be our first two kickouts. We need three more cDNA. We're short on glassware, which, am I not providing glassware? That might be a problem that we're having. No, I am. Okay. Oh, I'm just out of, no, the bots? I'm not out of bots either. I guess this was just being slow. Okay, there we go. So we'll take our six cDNA. Make sure that's all loaded up in here. And then we need eight for alien samples, which I probably have by now. Yeah. And we'll load those in. Give the rest back to green science. And I'm doing this because I'm going to need a million bolts for all of the out paddocks that we're going to need for circuits. And so now we just need this palm tree DNA, which will require a little bit of time here. So I am going to pause the recording and come back in a couple minutes when these palm tree DNA samples are done. All right, they are both done. So I'll pop those in here and our kickouts are now officially being created from genetic material. Man, I just I love this whole Pyanodons alien life stuff. It's so cool. I mean, the mod is brutal. Don't get me wrong in terms of difficulty, but they're just such cool systems where like you have to kind of genetically engineer the first of something, but then you can, you know, start to reproduce it and you're actually like establishing new alien life on a planet. I don't know. I think it's pretty sweet. Okay, we do need a few kick out plantations, though. And we'll kind of set up the same thing that we did for uh, Get rid of some trees. Same thing we did for Moondrop. It's true I don't have construction robots. I should probably change that. 
Okay, so I can add... It looks like I need clay no matter what, which is kind of interesting. Um, so two can make three seeds. Or three can make four seeds. Or four can make four seeds if I have sand. Interesting. Or I mean three seeds can make two. And we're starting with five seeds. Interesting. Okay. Well, they're now done. So I have them. Now I can make... Oh, no. Shoot. Well. <laughs> This has happened before. I need one to actually run this building, but I need two to make the seeds to be able to run this building. So I actually needed three. So I'm going to pause the video again, and then I'll come back when I have one more. All right, we have our third kick out. So now we can make some seeds. And then we can use those seeds to grow some new kickouts. But I do need clay. And I have a clay pit over here that I am just going to take 500 clay from. We need to power this guy up. It's interesting we don't need water for that recipe. Oh, I should have used this recipe. Too late. It's faster. Water is easy to get, so I want to use that one. Okay, so now we're growing our first kick out. We'll space this out a little bit here so we can output kick out and then that will go first to the right where I'll put it in a little chest that's just so we can initially collect some the rest of it will go to seeds which then go on to a belt which will be input into each building. Oh, right. I was wondering why I was taking so long. I keep forgetting that the crafting speed is horrible on these buildings at first. I was like, it's only supposed to take two minutes, two and a half minutes, but it's two and a half minutes times 10, so 25 minutes. So. Just to, just to do some movie magic, since this episode's going long, I will pause it for a minute until one or two cycles of this is done. And I'll be back yet again in a couple minutes. All right, I'm back. As you can see, the in-game days, we've crossed over a year. So happy anniversary to our Pyanodon's beginning, at least in terms of in-game time. Uh, these are very slow. So I actually went and crafted a whole one more manually with genetic material and these have finished a couple cycles i still only have three of the flowers and i have no more seeds so when these finish crafting i'll have six kick outs. and to get both of these running again i'll need to give away four of those to make more seeds so this is a slow process um but we'll get there and then we'll have Plenty of kick outs, and I believe kick outs are great for biomass, according to what some people have said on Discord, but we'll have to look into that chain and see what we think about it. Um, but yeah, for now, I think I'm going to call it an episode. Um, this process isn't all that interesting. It's just waiting a long time and taking them and recycling them, and eventually it'll be running faster. But we will go ahead and call it an episode here, and I will see you guys in the next one where we will, I think, finally be working on circuits. I can check Kick Elk off my list. Bam. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments, and I'll see you guys next time.